Access a ZFS volume in Windows. You'd think this would have been asked but I can't seem to find it so. Let's say I have a ZFS setup in this enclosure, 8 bay USB 3 JVOD. Now, I'm going to be running it on my Mac Direct attached but I'd like to be able to access the files when I boot into Windows as well. With HFS Plus volumes Apple was kind enough to provide a means for doing this. However, I can't find one for ZFS. The only solution I've come across is using Open Solaris in a virtual machine to mount the drives. However, I've also heard more than a few nightmares about doing this and it leading to massive failures. Yeah, kind of the exact opposite of what I want. So, essentially, what is the current best means of accessing a ZFS volume attached to Windows? I'd be happy with read-only access if necessary. Oh, intended OS is Windows 7. There's no OS level support for ZFS in Windows. As other posters have said, your best bet is to use a ZFS aware OS in a VM. Options are Open Solaris, Freeze, Linux, through ZFS Fuse, or ZFS on Linux. One other possibility is to get hold of a small low powered computer, say an Atom based system to connect to the drives and act as a network head unit to the disk sharing the data out through the network through standard protocol like SIFS, Samba. Then you can run the ZFS aware OS direct on the metal. ZFS Win The GitHub project ZFS Win, automatically exported from here, thanks to Tabayu Yonut Stan for the hint. New GPL v2 Requires Dukan And NBSB, read-only drive can be mounted And NBSB, and I guess that further development might enable write access Following installation on Windows 7 Whilst editing the compatibility section of the OpenSys wiki I was advised that ZFS Win cannot read ZFS Pool version 28. I don't do code, so from the source I can't tell which version is supported, sorry. There's a native ZFS implementation for Windows, 10 only? The discussion there indicates that it's a high quality port. ZFS in virtual machine can work just fine if follow one simple rule never ever lie to ZFS. ZFS goes to great lengths to keep your data from getting corrupted, checksums, copy on write, ditto blocks, mirrors or raid Z, etc. So you should do everything in your power to let ZFS directly access your disks. All the horror stories of virtualized ZFS issues come from some level of buffered I.O. from virtualization software buffers, disk controller cache or even windows with write-through cache if you're dumb enough to use virtual disks instead of whole raw disks. Each virtualization package does raw disks slightly differently, but VMware Workstation, VMware Fusion and VirtualBox all support it without too much effort. You mentioned attaching it to your Mac, so you could either use something as native like Sevo, formerly Z410, or run a ZFS virtual machine just like you would from Windows 7. If you're moving your pool between Mac slash Windows, Sevo and LT, and GT, VM, you'll want to, spool export pool name, before switching. No need if you're booting the same VM on both sides. You should strive to have no virtual disks, VMDK files, hosted on HFS Plus or NTFS, 
but instead make one of the external disks, or in partition of your internal disk, bootable so you can boot it non-virtually without too much effort. Of note if your Mac has Thunderbolt you can use that instead of use 2 or Firewire to connect multiple disks for ZFS. Something like a Sonic Thunderbolt C bridge, ExpressCard or PSI, combined with an eSATA or SAS card, or even a used 3 card, will be orders of magnitudes faster than regular used 2.